Astronomy binoculars make a great alternative to telescopes. They're smaller, more portable, easier to use and generally cheaper. Before we get into recommending the best models, there's three quick need to knows. Firstly, you do need to be using astronomy binoculars and not just regular binoculars. Regular binoculars are usually more compact, they don't have the light gathering ability, they use what are called roof prism lenses rather than poro prism lenses. Essentially, astronomy binoculars are tailored to low light use. Secondly, with astronomy binoculars, like telescopes, you should prioritize aperture, which is the size of the lenses, which is the best indicator of how good they're going to perform for stargazing. So all binoculars, astronomy or otherwise, have two numbers in their model name which indicate their performance level. So it will be, for instance, these are 20 times 80 binoculars. The first number is magnification. 20 times magnification means you're viewing 20 times closer. The second number, 80, is means 80 millimeter width lenses. That's the aperture. Essentially, aperture is what's most important for astronomy since it's the bigger lenses that have to work to gather more light in the dark skies to focus it down to the eyepiece. And that's how you can see things that you wouldn't be able to see with your naked eyes. The third need to know then is that magnification matters, but it's not necessarily better. So higher aperture is always better. The only downside to higher aperture is it's going to weigh a bit more and it's going to cost a bit more, but you always want to go for as big as you can. Magnification, not necessarily. So anything above 10 times magnification, you're not going to be able to use with your hand. You're going to have to use with a tripod. That's because well, A, it'll be heavy. B, the magnification magnifies the unsteadiness in your hand. So if the aperture is not good, you're not going to get a good quality view. High magnification will magnify a bad view. So you might see in a department store a pair of cheap binoculars, a telescope even, that boasts some crazy figure of magnification. But if it's not a well-made model with high quality lenses, then it's not going to give you good views. So my number one recommendation for most people looking to buy a pair of astronomy binoculars are these, the Celestron Skymaster 20x80. They're reasonably priced. You get 80 millimeter lenses, which are good. You get a quality build for astronomy, as you'd expect from Celestron, who are one of the best and most trusted makers of astronomy gear in the world. They look like this. They're reasonably big, comes with a carry bag. You do need to use them with a tripod. They come with an inbuilt tripod adapter. You can use any regular photography tripod should be able to screw in with the quick release plate. The one thing to watch out for is though, is you will need to think about the height of your tripod. Since when you're going to be using these, you're going to be having to look up. So either your tripod's going to have to be really tall, or you're going to have to have it a bit lower and you're going to sit because you're not going to want to stoop for hours. If you've looked at the 2080s Celestron Skymasters, You've probably also seen that they offer a 15 times 70 and a 25 times 70, kind of in a similar ballpark for price. My recommendation is to prioritize aperture. So the 20 times 80 should be what you could go for. Those pairs are also good if they're, if they're a deal available, they're slightly cheaper, but if you can go for the 2080 over the 25 times 70, prioritize aperture over magnification. A budget recommendation would be the Celestron Cometron 7x50 astronomy binoculars. These are cheap, they're a good introduction, they're lightweight, you can use them by hand. You get 50 millimeter lenses, which is a bit lower than the 80, but it's gonna give you something. But you can use them by hand, you can use them for scanning the sky. They're great as a, as a grab and go where you don't need to use a tripod. They're not going to give you the same close-in views of astronomical objects that you'd get with the bigger pair, but they're, but they're a good introduction. The third option that I like to recommend are ultra-wide field, very low magnification model, which are used specifically for stargazing rather than zooming in on astronomical objects. So you can see this Omegon pair, which are two times 42. So it's only two times magnification. They look a bit like opera glasses. What they do is, they slightly magnify your view, but they give you that, that increased aperture, which gives you a clearer, better view of the night sky. These are perfect for if you want to go out and look at 
a meteor shower, for instance, or camping out under dark skies, you want something that's going to enhance your view of a clear, dark night sky. They're great for that ultra wide field. So remember, low magnification means wide, high magnification means narrow. The last pick as the most powerful option would be the Celestron Skymaster 25 times 100. So these are so just like the 2080s, they're higher magnification, but more importantly, they're the higher aperture lenses. They're 100 millimeter, as the name suggests. 100 millimeters is about as powerful as you can get with astronomy binoculars, unless you want to seek out some really high priced specialized models, which can go up to 120, 150 millimeters, but they're going to cost thousands. To wrap up, my recommendation for most people is the 20 times 80. They're great. There are upgrade options on the 20 times 80. So there's a 20 times 80 Pro and there's a 20 times 80 Pro ED. Essentially, the Pro is a is a better quality build, better weatherproofing, better lens coatings. The Pro ED similarly is a better build. It also has extra low dispersion lenses, which removes the chromatic operation, which is a kind of distortion around the edges that you get with binoculars. So the normal ones are good if you're a beginner. If you've got the budget and you want to go for the higher quality build ones, go for it. They cost more for a reason, but if you're a beginner, you probably won't notice that much difference. If you want a really cheap budget pick, go for a 750 or similar Celestron model. A wide field pick, if you want something really small and portable, check out those Omegon 2x42s. If you just want the most powerful, go for the 25x100s. Now, if you like this, please like and subscribe.